Man, last time we were here, it was about four years ago. It was right around here with the snake, right? Yep. Big old black snake. One Big of the old biggest snakes I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, I almost right stepped on foot. it, dude. <laughs> yeah, it went over my it foot. Went over your shoe. Oh my god, you dude. had a heart attack. Square odometers. As soon as you walk in the back door, you can see there's a lot of water damage. It's all coming in from the ceiling. It's raining right now outside, so it's actually dripping in here. See, there's a pantry over there. A bunch of glasses in it. I'm not gonna walk over there because there's a lot of junk in the way. This room is really cool. This is the dining room. This was set up a little different last time I was here. Uh, photographers like to move stuff around for their photos. For the most part, Everything is pretty much the same. Small minor things like pictures being moved, the chairs and the table placed slightly different than they were a few years ago. The decay in this house is just incredible. This is my photo from a few years ago, and if you look at the wallpaper on the back wall, it's just barely starting to come down in that top right corner. And as you can see here from my more recent trip, the wallpaper is just completely falling off the walls now to where you can see the pink and green paint that was behind it. Somebody's eating roaches. glass bottle there. Even the table is really cool. So you can see this room was first painted green, then it was painted pink, then they put wallpaper over it. So since we were here four years ago, some people are claiming that this house was the house of Stephen Parnell, who was a serial killer in the state of Delaware. And some people are claiming that this place was his house at one time. Not that he killed anybody here or grew up here or anything like that, I don't think. Um, people are definitely saying that this is his house. However, I have not been able to prove that as a fact yet, so, but I feel that it might be important to note that people are saying that, that it's haunted, you can hear screams at night from the street and the surrounding houses and neighbors have heard screams in here. So I'm not sitting here saying that this is Stephen Parnell's house. But I'm also not ruling it out because I haven't been able to debunk it or prove it. <clears throat> so it very well could be. Which would make this house even creepier than it already is. Some more family photos. Cash record, ledger, 1939, that's amazing. You do not see stuff that old very often. And all these are loaded too, look at family photos in here. Old school car right there. I 
like everything you look at. Like more photos. See, it'd be nuts if some of these were the serial killer Stephen Parnell in these photos. But I don't think it is. There's Grandma. Some more uh, family photos, senior portraits. Wonder if this is the guy that lives next door. Pretty sure he owns this house and last time we were here he was cutting a lawn and it took us quite a while to make our way around him to get into the house. So wonder if this is the guy who lives behind it. Some more family photos. They're a little hard to see because they're all wet. Some photos from some vacations. Oh, these are actually some nice landscape photos. It's Niagara Falls. Oh, those alligators, buffaloes. I wonder if he lived here, if they were a photographer. There's a lot of photos that they took here. It's someone's wedding. Pretty cool stuff. Right outside the living room window, there's a car parked out there. This is the kitchen. Look how trashed this room is. This room is in a lot better condition. No water damage coming in. This one's still pretty much set up just how it was a few years ago when we came here. Look at these old postcards. They're actually handwritten from the 60s. These surfing photos. Calendar on the wall, 1954. That's insane. Look at all these trinkets. 
the good book opened up to Ezekiel 13. Even this colorful rug here. Oh, this is one of the bedrooms. I'm not even going to attempt to try to go in there. I have a feeling that floor is going to collapse soon because of all the moisture and water damage. Uh, whoever lived here is definitely a religious family. There's a lot of religious stuff laying around. This bedroom is the better of the two, I'd say. These Mexican figurines. Look at this painting here. Look at this alphabetical list of towns and cities. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's old too. Encyclopedias, a bunch of history books there, and conference books up there. Not sure what's up with that. These are all the world books here. More uh, perfumes and stuff. Look at that. Look at the dresser. It's just amazing. It's all hand painted too. Look at that. Such an antique. And the best thing about it is it matches the bed, look. Bed is one of my favorite things about this place. I mean, even the footboard, all hand painted, and carved, hand carved. Look at that bird's nest in the mirror there. That's wild. Curtains are cool, nice and old school, but look at they left a lot of the product here. Toothbrushes and aftershave, candles. So you can see these steps are getting soaked. 
There's water coming in through the ceiling. And it's really damaging these steps. I don't like steps like this, especially when they're already falling apart. We sure hope that you all like this abandoned house as much as we did. For more photographs of this amazing abandoned house, check out the blog at AbandonedCentral.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Abandoned Central so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Thank you all for the love and support.